Since the formation of this earth, climate change has been occurring in all fashions. Climate change is identified as a change in global or regional climate patterns, and the study of it can be traced all the way back to 1895. This is when astronomer Andrew Ellicott Douglas studied tree rings for clues about past climate change, then discovered that there was a century-long climate change that occurred around the 17th century, which caused a significant drop in church. Then again in 1896, when Swedish scientist Svante Arrhenius concluded that the greenhouse effect would leave substantial climate disparities on our planet. Since him, many scientists would continue to progress in this realm of study. Climate change has always been happening and is a part of natural life. However, once the rate of climate change surpasses its threshold, it can be detrimental. Due to quickly accumulating human population, greenhouse gas emissions have risen dramatically. This has led to the predicted extinction of 1 million species in the next year alone. Facts such as these emphasize the dangers of climate change and the impacts it garners. Further evidence of climate change was then again observed within an organism itself this time. The Dryas octopetalo is native to Arctic biomes since its discovery. This was until 12,000 years ago when this flower was found in mud cores within Europe. This illuminated evidence for an ice age, which they named the Younger Dryas. By the 1960s, more evidence was discovered by venturing into two-mile cores within Greenland's glaciers. This was the equivalent of 110,000 years of climate history. The ice confirmed the existence of the Younger Dryas, and a severe drop in temperature which occurred 12,000 years ago distinguished it. This shockingly took only three years to end. Climate change is clearly evident not only in our current day society, but it is also rooted in the history of our land. However, the acceleration of this process that is now present at the hands of humans is unacceptable and must be prevented. The impacts that will spawn in the presence of climate change are deadly to our planet as a whole, which is why we must take action to combat them. Climate change presents yet another pressing issue that humans must now deal with on a daily basis, which brings us to the sponsor of this broadcast. You want to play outside? Are you ever irritable no. for no good reason? Are you ever thirsty? Do you ever get tired? You may have diabetes. Novo Nordisk is the cheapest manufacturer of insulin in the USA. Individuals with type 1 diabetes and some with type 2 need insulin to help control their body's blood sugar levels. Type 1 and type 2 differ. Type 1 diabetes is a genetic disorder that often shows up early in life where the body attacks itself, destroying the cells in the pancreas which produce insulin. Type 2 diabetes is largely diet-related and develops over time. The body stops producing enough insulin for itself, and the body's cells stop responding to insulin. Another form affects pregnant women, which is called gestational diabetes. Although gestational diabetes goes away after delivery up to 90% of the time, it makes type 2 diabetes later in life a higher risk. Use Love and Mirror, manufactured by Nova Nordis today, to reclaim your life. <laughs> the Wood Tree Frog This frog burrows underground and hibernates for the winter, watches it freezes over. The frog freezes over completely, but how does it survive until springtime? The frog uses specialized cells in its body to expel most of its water content into non-vital organs and specialized flaps of tissue. When water expands as it freezes, it will only damage these areas minorly. Meanwhile, in the vital organs of the frog, there is a significantly less amount of water, so the frogs have a lower freezing point. This allows for the frog's heart to continue to beat, and essential body functions such as blood flow still occur. Bye-bye now, little froggy. A similar process occurs in grapes made for wine. As the winter frost comes in late fall, the water from all the grapes is expelled and given to the soil. This allows for a much higher concentration of sugars in the grape, which allows it to not freeze over completely. A similar thing happens in humans. When we are exposed to cold temperatures, such as night, when we are getting ready for bed in the cold, we need to urinate in order to expel water from our system. This will raise our blood sugar so we do not freeze. Welcome back to science class. So the teachers? So I <laughs> fellow classmates. <laughs> this episode was brought to you hey, by James Daly. Final project. Episode one hundred.